Welcome to my channel once again and uh, thank you for uh, subscribing and also thank you for viewing and tuning into the channel and uh, please come along with us on a venture to Graskop Gorge Lift Company. The Graskop Gorge Lift Company creates a type of gateway to the forest below and is made up of several small retail outlets a community craft market, restaurant on the cliff edge and also spectacular views of the waterfall and also the forest below. The gorge is centrally located on the panoramic route and is an ideal stopover whether it's to view sites or to go into the forest or just getting something getting a bite to eat. There's also various ac um, adventure activities in Grasko but also around the Grasko area. This viewing lift is the first for Africa and lets us go and experience this right down the face of the Grasko Gorge and into the Fromantine forest below. The lift going down the, the cliff face of the Grasko Gorge is a great piece of engineering skill that was constructed and takes you into Afro-Montane forest below that captivates and takes your breath away. The type of forest found in pockets among the mountain ranges is well watered areas like ravines and on the south facing slopes. Under the vivid green canopy of the tree, trees lie a lush wonderful wonderland filled with a spectacular variety of plants, animals, insects and birds uh, that, needs, that can be explored and also admired by keen bird lovers. Since opening its doors to the public in 2017, 
The Grasbroek Gorge Lift Center has treated thousands of people who have had their souls touched by Africa's first viewing lift, which travels plus minus 51 meters down the face of the Grasbroek Gorge and into this Afro Afromontine forest below. The forest is ex explored via uh, about 500 meter elevated circular trail. It is a, a majestical delight full of sounds, textures and unforgettable sightings. Water drips down on the rock faces, moss grows in abundance, the water crosses boulders and, all, and the waterfall cascades into the rocks below. A rich earthy smell lingers and and little flowers compete to the attention next to the towering trees. The journey begins as you drop off the grassy cliff in this uh, majestic elevator, a 270 degree view of your observation descending into the gorge. The lift descends about 51 meters down and the, uh, down the cliff face into the humid uh, mountain air below. The elevated walkways and suspended bridges winds through this forest trail below and a green canopy of natural forest. You will experience all the water streams and a constant smell of moisture. The cliffs was cut back uh, by the Mutusi River over time and it displays this majestic panoramic gorge waterfall that plunges about 70 meters into the bedrock below. Some fun uh, and interesting facts. The trail has various interpretations and includes information about the forest. Its biodiversity, water conservation, birds and insects. It includes giant reptiles and also indigenous mushrooms, a huge stained glass display and much more. The interpretation trail has several stairs and steep inclines and normally takes about an hour to complete. The first 100 meters or so do not have any steps or steep inclines or declines, um, so, are very, so it's very accessible to all, even the people in wheelchairs. The climate in the gorge is generally wet and can be slippery at sections. The desk have, is fitted with anti-slip treads uh, but caution should be also taken around those areas. Trees and branches protrude from the desk 
and guests need to be aware of the obstructions on the trails. Afromontan forests are widespread across African highlands, specifically occurring above about one and a half thousand meters in elevation. They extend from the Arabian Peninsula south along the ridge to the Drakensberg Mountains in the east. The three, the three communities uh, known as the Afromontan forest are generally restricted to moist um, sheltered kloof that are protected from the, the, the prevalent um, vegetation uh, from fires. The Afromontan forest is also the highest level of plant um, communities recurring um, higher natural rainfalls of about 800 millimeters. This isolated pocket of Afromontane forest, um, a, a good example of this is the, the, the Fern Kloof Nature Reserve. This is just another example of this amazing pockets of captivating beauty in South Africa. Thank you. 